step into the realm of cinema's golden past, a time when black and white frames spun tales that still echo through the corridors of our imagination. Have you ever crossed paths with the enigmatic 1941 masterpiece, The Wolfman? Close your eyes for a moment and let the flickering memories rush in, the haunting howls that sent shivers down your spine, the moonlight dancing upon the creature's agonizing transformation, and the undeniable allure of a story that blurs the lines between man and beast. Ah, the allure of those silver screen nights, where the tendrils of suspense crept into your very soul. The Wolfman, a timeless classic that etched its mark deep within the annals of cinema history, beckons you to reminisce about that very first encounter, where your heart raced in harmony with the protagonist's desperate struggle to contain the primal forces within. As we embark on this journey through the intriguing tapestry of facts about the movie, remember the way you were drawn into its world, the gasps you shared, the shadows that seemed to whisper secrets, and the sensation of being gripped by a tale that defied the boundaries of reality. Now, as the curtains rise once again, let's delve into the captivating tidbits that paint a new layer of appreciation for the Wolfman. These obscure gems are like hidden pathways, guiding us through the labyrinth of its creation and impact shedding light on the mysteries that have fascinated us for generations. So, whether you're revisiting this classic or discovering it for the first time, join me as we unravel the threads of history woven into the fabric of the Wolfman. Let's journey together through time and memory, discovering the fascinating whispers that have kept this cinematic marvel alive. And now, without further ado, let the exploration begin, as we uncover the veiled truths behind the scenes, the inspiration that birthed this tale, and the indelible mark it's left on pop culture. Get ready to embrace the past and see it come alive before your very eyes, for the secrets of the Wolfman are waiting to be unearthed. To be unearthed. The Wolfman, released in 1941, is a classic horror film that holds a significant place in cinematic history. This Universal Pictures production, directed by George Wagner, emerged as a seminal work in the werewolf subgenre. The film follows the story of Larry Talbot, portrayed by Lon Chaney Jr., who returns to his ancestral home and is bitten by a werewolf. This curse transforms him into a wolf-like creature during the full moon, setting off a series of tragic events. The movie's unique style lies in its moody atmosphere, gothic undertones, and the iconic makeup designed by Jack Pierce that brought the Wolfman to life. Lon Chaney Jr.'s portrayal of the tormented Larry Talbot added depth to the character, exploring themes of identity, duality, and the uncontrollable aspects of human nature. The film's impact on popular culture is immense. It cemented the werewolf trope in horror folklore and contributed to the enduring fascination with supernatural creatures. The legacy of the Wolfman lives on through numerous sequels, spin-offs, and its influence on subsequent horror films. Its exploration of inner darkness and the thin line between man and monster continues to captivate audiences, making it a cornerstone of classic horror cinema. Ma, 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 ma. The Enigma of the Wolfman, unraveling the transformation in 1,941 seconds iconic movie The Wolfman. The eponymous character's transformation from man to beast captivated audiences with its eerie mystique. Yet, a subtle detail about the film's initial design sheds new light on its intentions. Bella's lycanthropic form manifested as a truly animalistic wolf, while Larry's took on the infamous bipedal Wolfman shape. This intriguing divergence could be attributed to the film's original conception as a psychological thriller, blurring the lines between reality and imagination. By rendering Larry's attacker as a bestial wolf, the film aimed to cultivate doubt. Was the transformation real or a figment of his tormented psyche? This choice resonated with the cinematic atmosphere of uncertainty, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. Universal Studios, lacking its own theater chain, devised a strategy for the Wolfman that reflected the era's upheaval. The film was slated for a double bill presentation, paired with The Mad Doctor of Market Street, and a bid to entice audiences. However, in the wake of the Pearl Harbor attack, the studio fretted that an all-horror lineup might repel the public. The zeitgeist demanded sensitivity, prompting a shift in plans. The studio's decision encapsulated the societal undercurrents, underscoring how cinema responded to real-world events. Embedded within the film's fabric is the poignant rhyme that endured through time. Even a man who is pure at heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolfbane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. This seemingly ancient folk saying, often attributed to gypsy lore, 
possesses a twist of irony. In truth, it was the creation of writer Kurt Siodmak, the ingenious mind behind the screenplay. While this revelation might undermine the mysticism, the rhyme's longevity is a testament to its resonance. It echoed through subsequent Wolfman iterations and even found its way into Van Helsing with a minor tweak, remaining an enduring emblem of the film's legacy. In retrospect, the Wolfman reveals layers beyond its shape-shifting surface. A narrative once poised to blur reality's edges and marketed with sensitivity to contemporary events has cemented its status as a timeless classic. A film that ingeniously melds psychological intrigue, societal context, and enduring folklore. Enduring folklore. Enduring folklore. Despite Universal's concerns, The Wolfman howled its way to success in 1942 in the aftermath of the Pearl Harbor attack. Universal Studios harbored reservations about the reception of horror films. Amid this uncertainty emerged the 1941 movie The Wolfman. Contrary to expectations, the film clawed its way to become one of the studio's highest grossing releases in 1942. Evelyn Ankers, a prominent actress of the era, encountered a terrifying encounter during the film's production. While shooting a sequence involving a 600-pound bear, the creature slipped its handler's grasp, sending anchors scurrying up a ladder. A quick-thinking electrician swooped in to rescue her, averting what could have been a disaster. At the heart of the film's creative process lay a crucial decision. In the original script by Kurt Siodmak, the transformation of Lawrence Talbot into a werewolf remained an enigma. The script left audiences pondering whether the change was physical or a manifestation of Talbot's psyche. A choice had to be made, leave the transformation unseen, or visually depict it. The studio opted for the latter, resulting in a literal portrayal of the Wolfman and cementing the character's enduring legacy. The Wolfman of 1941 stands as a testament to Universal's gamble during uncertain times. Fueled by unexpected success, the film defied wartime apprehensions and howled its way into the annals of horror history. In a twist of cinematic fate, the 1941 classic, The Wolfman, holds secrets as intriguing as its supernatural plot. Notably, Larry's silver wolf-headed cane, a striking emblem of the film, continues to cast its enigmatic spell. This sole surviving prop has found refuge within the private collection of genre film archivist Bob Burns. Back in the day, Burns, a mere schoolboy then, was gifted the cane's lupine crown by its creator, the skilled prop maker Ellis Berman. An heirloom that transcended time, the cane eventually changed hands, finding its way to a collector in Maryland. Breaking with convention, the Wolfman embarked on a visual journey uncommon for its era. Akin to the heralded the Black Cat of 1934, it daringly introduced its principal personas during the opening credits. As the silver screen flickered to life, audiences were treated to tantalizing glimpses of both characters and their portrayers through tantalizing snippets from the unfolding film. A narrative technique that lingers in memory, etching the Wolfman further into the annals of innovation. Behind the scenes, the film's metamorphosis was nearly as dramatic as its lycanthropic transformation. Cast shadows loomed over Dick Foran, who was initially poised to step into the role of Larry Talbot. But destiny took a swift turn, as Foran bowed out just days before the camera's roll. A last-minute shuffle, and Lon Chaney Jr. emerged as the iconic Larry Talbot, etching his name indelibly into cinematic history. Amidst the eerie howls and moonlit curses, the Wolfman guards its mysteries as staunchly as its secrets unfold. From a cherished Kane's journey through time to the bold gambit of opening credits, and the cast shuffle that reshaped destinies, this tale transcends the silver screen. The Wolfman remains a testament to the unpredictable magic that weaves together both on-screen and off-screen narratives. Lon Chaney Jr. S. Enduring Howl is the Wolfman, a legacy in Universal's classic monster canon 1941 seconds the Wolfman howled its way into cinematic history. Etching Lon Chaney Jr. S. Name into the annals of Universal Studios' classic monsters. This film marked the inception of Chaney's five portrayals as the iconic Wolfman, a feat unparalleled among Universal's creature features. The studio's pantheon of monsters witnessed no other actor embodying the same character with such consistency, spanning across a series of films and sequels. Evelyn Ankers, co-star to Chaney, encountered a tempestuous working relationship. 
the studio's disciplinary action, assigning her Cheney's dressing room due to his intoxicated vandalism of studio property, set the stage for a strained collaboration. The off-screen tension seeped onto the set, with Cheney's penchant for juvenile pranks and anchors bearing the brunt. Dubbing her shankers, a term connoting both a homemade weapon and a backstabber, Cheney's relentless antics, often in full makeup, left anchors perpetually on edge. Within the movie's folklore, the werewolf transformation hinged on the ephemeral conjunction of the wolf Bane's bloom and the autumnal moon's brilliance. A cinematic quirk emerged, the absence of the moon itself. Unlike its successors in the Universal Wolfman series, this film shrouded the moon in obscurity, never granting it a presence on screen. It was only in the sequel that the mythos evolved to a full and bright moon. The Wolfman, a harbinger of horror, endowed Lon Chaney Jr. with his immortal place as the cursed lycanthrope. The movie's legacy reverberates through his five iterations of the role, while the behind-the-scenes tumult resonates in anecdotes of Evelyn Anker's tumultuous interactions with the relentless prankster, Chaney. This cornerstone of classic cinema reminds us that even in darkness, the silver screen can cast a lasting and eerie light. Light, 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 light. As we bid adieu to our journey through the moonlit realm of the Wolfman, the echoes of lycanthropic howls still linger in the air, a testament to the timeless allure of this cinematic masterpiece. Just as Larry Talbot grappled with his dual nature, so too have we been confronted with the primal facets of our own humanity, stirred by the haunting chiroscuro of his plight. The silver screen has woven a tapestry of fears and desires, blurring the lines between man and beast, reason and instinct. It beckons you now, dear traveler, to take a moment of quiet introspection. Peel back the layers of memory and sentiment, unearthing the hidden chamber where your personal connection with the Wolfman resides. What was it that sent shivers down your spine? Was it the poignant struggle for acceptance? The eerie allure of the moors? Or perhaps the ageless wisdom of a cursed talisman? Share with us your cherished fragments of time spent beneath the moon's gaze as we weave together the diverse threads of our experiences, casting a collective enchantment upon this timeless tale. Your words are the stars that will continue to guide others through the enigmatic night of Larry Talbot's journey. Thank you for joining us on this odyssey into the heart of the human psyche and the wild unknown. Your time and thoughts are precious gems that enrich the legacy of this film, turning it into an ever-evolving mosaic of perspectives. Until we gather again around the campfire of storytelling, reflecting on the silver screen's whispers, remember that within the realm of the Wolfman, the bonds between man, monster, and memory shall forever entwine. Entwine. Entwine.